Moving to another place is always troublesome, but moving to another town is even worse. It's getting dark. I hope we're still heading the right way. What the hell? Are you okay? I'm Officer Nicole Riley. Let's see if we can fix your car, so you can leave here as soon as possible. Wait, Officer. Have you seen my daughter? She's six, fair-haired, and wearing denim overalls. I didn't see anyone else when I arrived, but I did find something that may belong to her. Here. Do you have a photo of her? Maybe your daughter went to look for help? You need to find her quickly and leave. This is Officer Nicole Riley. Do you copy? Need help! Please help! Damn it. Looks like we're on our own for now. I'll keep trying to reach someone while you search the town. Just be careful. Here, take this with you.
Maya? Baby? 
It's Mommy. Where are you? Are you hurt? Mommy, I'm scared. I want to go home. I will find you. Honey, can you take a look around? Tell me what you see. Okay. I'm in a building that looks like a hospital. I saw the word dawn on the walls, but it's so dark. Okay. I'll look for it. Maya. Maya, can you hear me? Darren, stop looking for the girl. Maya is my friend now. This nasty nurse didn't want me to have any friends. She hurt me. Now she's hurt. And she's not the only one. You want to see her? She's clawing at the door where her sick mother is locked inside. I was a top student at my medical college. Mom was so proud of me. After I graduated, I started my career at our local hospital. My life was good then. Mother's illness hit me hard. When we learned how much her treatments would cost, I knew we didn't have enough money. My whole world shattered. I was desperate to earn more money, and that's when my friend offered me a job on Project Dawn. The only downside was I had to move to another town.
find her mother, Mindy. It's all Mindy Tori's fault. She's a terrible daughter.
I felt guilty living my mother in assisted living, but it was my only chance to save her. I worked so hard. Nearly all my money went to support her. But then mom sent a letter asking me to return. She said the treatment wasn't helping. But I refused to give up and remained on the project, hoping to earn more money for better treatments. The last letter I received wasn't from her. I didn't even have a chance to say goodbye. I failed my mother. If only I could have returned home. Is it really over? You saved me from that endless nightmare. Now I can be with my mother. I don't know what you're looking for, but I'm sure you will find it wherever he's hiding. I was working on Project Dawn. One subject. A boy named Darren. He was kept at that horrible institute. He's the reason all of this is happening here. The best I can do is give you my access card. There are two more. One for the head physician, and one for the project supervisor. Good luck! Miss Palmer, I'm sorry you haven't found that girl, but you've gotta leave now. Get in. I'll drive you out of here. I didn't expect you to get out of that nightmare alive. Maya is my friend now. Nobody who steps in here ever returns. You shouldn't be here either. Now you'll die. Look around, Jennifer. You're all alone. No one's coming to help you. I'm alive. I could have drowned. I never learned to swim. Miss Palmer, I'm sorry I didn't tell you I was dead. I was worried you'd run away. You're the first outsider who's been able to reach our town. It's like we're trapped in an invisible dome. For years I've watched over this town. Everyone knew the explosion came from the Research Institute, but no one knew about the inhumane experiments they were doing there. 
I found some comfort knowing those scientists paid for their crimes. All the evidence proving it is in the police station, on the other side of the river. Good luck. I'm here, kiddo. I'll be right there, so you need to stay strong. Can you tell me what you see around you? I see boxes with papers and pictures of different people. One of them says PD, another says FD. Maya, can you look in the box with PD written on it? See if you can find something with Nicole Riley written on it. Okay, I will. Maya, who are you talking to? Maya, what happened?
Great job, honey. Can you tell me what year she was born? 1956. That's great. You're a big help. Hold on, sweetie. Mommy will be there soon. Why are you still here? Forget about Maya. You'll never find her. Go away. Still here? 
You want to meet another doctor? This one was the worst of them all! Want to know his punishment? He'll never see his fiance again! I hope you enjoy his nightmare as much as he does! Run away, Charles. Your bride is coming for you. Help! Let me out! Charles needs his bride! shouldn't have run away. They're destined to be together. I refuse to be locked in a cage. Without this, surely die. No, the loneliness will ruin us. We need something that has no price, no measure, something warm. Everything has a price, and without this thing, we could not measure it. We may disagree, but both of us hold equal value. We must achieve balance.
Since I was little, I dreamed of becoming a doctor. I loved helping others. My family wasn't surprised when I got accepted into a great medical school. After graduating with honors, I was invited to work on the innovative Project Dawn. I was so proud. The research we did there was ahead of its time. I was so happy in Great Falls. I had a dream job and I even met my true love. Caroline was my safe haven. I spent all my free time with her. I never dreamed it would end. I fell in love with Caroline at first sight. She was so kind and generous. The time we spent together was the happiest in my life. There were aspects about my job that I couldn't tell her. Once we started experimenting on people, Project Dawn became illegal. I knew Caroline wouldn't approve, and I couldn't burden her with that knowledge. I panicked. I never showed up to our wedding. I know, I'm a coward. I hurt Caroline. I can never look in her eyes again. That day will haunt me forever.
after losing Caroline, I buried myself in my work. Some days I even slept at work. I couldn't bear coming home to that empty house. Darren was the breakthrough we needed. I'd been observing him since birth and marveled as his extraordinary abilities blossomed. However, caring for him planted a seed of doubt in me. Darren had lived his entire life inside the lab. When he discovered he couldn't leave it, Darren had a meltdown. His resulting mental explosion decimated the town. It's you. I can't thank you enough for freeing me from that horrible fate sign. But why? Why are you here? My daughter and I were just passing through Grey Falls when that boy, Darren, kidnapped her. Can you help me get her back? Don't worry. Darren would never hurt another child. It's the adults he's angry at. He's probably keeping her at the Research Institute. I'll give you my key card. Have you met our project supervisor, Sarah Carter? You'll need her card to gain full access. I hope you find your daughter, and I'm sorry. Escape your own nightmare! Miss Palmer, I got here just in time, I see. You already have two Institute key cards. No one has been able to pass through the dome around the Research Institute. Darren won't let anyone in. The highest access keycard belongs to the project lead, Sarah Carter. She didn't evacuate. She was doing more damn research, even in her final moments. I brought you here for a reason. This is where the evacuation tent for the Institute workers was. If you can't find Sarah's body here, at least you might find some clues of where she could be.
Maya, can you hear me? Mommy, where are you? I'm scared. Darren's really mad at you. Don't worry, I'm almost there. Just hang on, sweetie. Maya, what are you doing? Who are you talking to? I'm sorry. Maya can't come to the phone right now. Don't call back. What have you done to my daughter? Mommy? This is Sarah Carter, the supervisor of Project Dawn. Today is May 11th. My watch says it's 12.23 a.m. We've almost finished evacuating Gray Falls. Only a few residents are still here. We've told the remaining residents more police cars are coming to help, but it's a lie. What's the point of telling them they're doomed? I have research to complete. Years ago, I lost my daughter, my honey. Phoebe had an untreatable genetic disease. Sitting next to her that day, holding her hand, I swore to find a way to improve human bodies, even defeating death itself. I've been working hard to become the head of Project Dawn. I chose each person on my staff carefully. We looked everywhere for gifted people. Finally, luck smiled upon us. Our patient, a boy named Darren Soul, was a true gem. Darren's abilities are truly amazing. We tried to strengthen them using a special helmet. But things quickly got out of control. After the first explosion, I realized we had to evacuate the town. No one could get through to Darren. That's when my staff fled like cowardly rats. They were afraid of the townspeople's anger, of Darren's abilities. But these things were so small. I stayed here and I won't leave. I'm taking just a few necessities, my chest and my records. I'm going back to the Institute to see what's happening. At the bus terminal, I saw a military vehicle I'll use it to enter the Institute. Nothing will stop me.
After our town was isolated, we scattered, trying to survive. Darren's influence slowly drove each of us crazy. I was the last to hang on to my sanity. Here's the station. Some people hid here, waiting for help to arrive. They didn't realize no one was going to. They even hung photos of their lost loved ones up there. I had to watch the people of my town die. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. There was no one left to hang up my photo. But you're here now. Could you hang my photo for me? In return, I'm sure the souls of this town will reveal their darkest secrets to you. Notice changes in the surface of the dome. A car breached the dome, but then the dome closed again. <laughs> Jennifer Palmer entered a time loop. Her death is scheduled to reoccur today. Three attempts have been registered. Observation continues.
doll. I want my doll. She wanted this doll, but my work hasn't been completed. Sarah is protecting her experiment. If there's some water in that fire truck, maybe I can short circuit Sarah. I didn't just manage Project Dawn, I created it. I came to this town, I opened the research institute. You don't know what I've sacrificed to get here. I saved Daring from that orphanage. He had outstanding abilities, ones that needed to be controlled and developed for the good of humanity. Everyone agreed with me. But one day, Darren's intellect sharply increased, causing the first explosion. All the townspeople panicked and fled the town. But I stayed. I died here, doing studies for the good of humanity. I'm not throwing away my second chance to complete my research. Leave now.
Can't have Maya. You've come here in vain. If my monsters can't kill you, then I will. Darren, wait. I want to help you. Let me prove it to you. Just watch this video. Hmm. It seems we've both become the pawns in someone's experiments. But we can escape this place together. Just tell me how I can free you from this place. You like Maya, right? You can join my family. We can take you away from here. I can? Okay. Here, you need this code to log in. Once you're in, switch off the power to my helmet. I can't leave while it's on.
to free Sarah Carter's lost soul. Now all the souls of Grey Falls are free at last. This town is waking up from a terrible nightmare. Darren has decided to live with us. Maya and I will help him forget that horrible place. Seems she survived after all. Subject 75 Jennifer Palmer and 77 Maya Palmer have left the main area of Project Dawn. Subject 17, Darren's soul, left with them to pursue a normal life, switching to observation mode.